Hey Crafty Cuties, I hope you guys are doing lovely. Today we are going to be working on my new idea inspiration book. And if you wanted to see how I made this, um, it's the video probably right before this, so I'll try to link that below. Um, but yeah, basically this journal is just going to be a place where I put all of my junk journal page ideas in, anything that inspires me, anything that I'm just loving that's not necessarily memory keeping. And I think I also really wanna do things like mood boards and things like that in here because when I'm stuck on like ideas for journaling I want to be able to flip through here and just get inspired to create and so today we're basically going to finish up the insides of the book and I might try to do a decoration on the first page so let's just jump in so we can get the most done that we can and I'm so excited for the next video because I think that's when I'm going to create the mood board. And if you are curious, I have this little organizer here. And this is where I keep all of the projects that like I've made that I know I don't want to let go of. Things like the originals to my printables. Um, some just favorite things that like I love this right here but it has a rip so I probably wouldn't use it for like a journal cover um and either way I just know I want to hoard it for myself but I don't think I'll use it for like memory keeping um and just all of the videos that I make where I create junk journal page ideas I usually keep the original and so yeah, um, also, I also put things in here that I just, like I said, that I just know I love, like this, and this would be very cute, like on a journal, but I just very well may use it in my book here. I have snippet rolls, which by the way, I, I wanna make another one of these really soon. So, okay, I know I'm talking a lot. I'm just actually really excited about this project. So for the inside cover, um, I was going through fabrics and I just didn't find anything that I absolutely loved. So I knew that I had these gorgeous prints from a book and so I think I'm just gonna glue these to the inside and then I can always add something later if I change my mind. So I'm just going to kind of take my ruler and just roughly break this down to the size that I need it and so one of the reasons why I actually decided to go ahead and make this journal was because I always get this way around the first of the year. I am feeling stuck. I have all of these new journals. This is my new 2021 junk journal for memory keeping. I have another journal that I'm just like halfway working in and was using for like memory keeping and also things that I made. And then I also realized that I have this quarantine journal that I am super far behind on. And again, this was just another junk journal, but I like, I guess I stopped using it. I totally forgot that I had it. And I know that I need to add a few, or not a few, but quite a bit more photos in here, but I have to go back in time to get those photos. So I was just feeling kind of stuck. And when I get that way, I just feel like it's good to try and do something, a type of project where you can kind of clear your mind and you know, just do something that you enjoy because it really kind of helps you get in the flow and gets you in the mood of creating. And I feel like for me at least along that way, I typically come up with ideas or things where I'm like, ooh, I know that I want to do that um, next. So I definitely inspire you if you are getting stuck on, like if you're a journal maker or even just a crafter um, and you're getting stuck on when you're, what am I trying to say? When you are getting stuck, um, maybe this would be a good idea for you as well because I know so many people that tell me they get overwhelmed with all of the different like page ideas for journals or just even ideas in general for crafting. And this would just be a really awesome kind of journal to have around so that when you feel stuck or you need some inspiration or you need to remember like, oh, what was that page idea that I had? Um, a while back you can go through your journal and find it now you could you can do this so many different ways you could really go all out and make different sections in here and if you get inspired by like other youtubers or pinterest you could file it that way like by youtuber or by you know which social media um, platform was it where you got the ideas from you could do something like that you could section it out to be like junk journal ideas or mood boards you know 
but for me i i don't want this to be a project where it's just going to be like a lot of work and a lot of um energy to keep up with so i'm not going to do that however i do love it because i do wonder if when i am going to use this for inspiration if it's going to be hard for me to figure out um where a certain idea was and so like some kind of an index may be helpful but i think if i find that i'm having that problem i could write up a little table of contents and just put it in the front or i'll just know for next time to do it differently so here we go i just i love i love it right there okay i found this butterfly too and it's always too big for my journal so i'm not exactly sure if i'm going to do something with it today but like I said, I want to do a little bit of, I kind of want to break the book in. So these pages, they're just meant to be covered up. There are some really cute pictures and I may like keep one or two just open because I like them. But other than that, I, there was no intention behind which pages I chose. I just needed pages, but I'm going to go through my little area here. And uh, this is already calling my name. I love the florals and it's a pocket. Um, so it's just a simple page idea. I think I made a video on this using vintage book pages for junk journal ideas or something like that. Um, I can try to find it, but I think I'm just going to put this here and then I might end up doing journaling in here, uh, like writing things down. But for now, I don't think that's not going to be like, I don't have to do that if that makes sense. Okay. So I'm looking through here again. Oh, another thing I'm going to put in here sometimes I think will be like, um, happy mail because, uh, my, one of my friends from Turkey made this for me and I just never really know exactly what to do with some things that I get in happy mail. I, ooh, I also got some pressed flowers from Amazon and that's definitely going to be used on one of my next, uh, projects in this book. Okay. I also have, I have just so many different things, guys. So I'm trying to narrow it down. This is a really pretty journaling card and tag. Um, yeah, I think this first page is just going to be a junk journal page idea. And I might just go ahead and place this journaling card in and just kind of have it peeking out because it is really pretty. Now I could cover the page if I want, but do I want to? You know what, I'm gonna grab some scrap paper that I have. I'm not worried about covering, but you know what, actually, I, I'm gonna change that up. Okay, I think I'm actually going to use one of my um, collage papers for a pretty background, and I'm fine with the kind of the newsprint background, but I think I'm gonna do the black and white here. Why not? Just use it up. I love this collage paper and whoops, I definitely don't use it up enough. Okay, so I did kind of tear that a bit, but that's okay because the fun thing about collage paper is it doesn't have to, you don't have to be um, too careful with it. Okay, so. Oh, and maybe like this butterfly can go on somehow too, but let's just do one thing at a time. Okay, I think I'm just gonna add some glue and go for it. But yeah, I think in the future, like I'm gonna be fine um, with just taking the things that I want to put in here and literally just putting them down, not caring about what the background is. It's gonna be more so like uh, intention, not intentional. That's not, I'm trying to think of a word, but <laughs> functional. I just want this to, yeah, uh, I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. I'm guessing that you guys kind of get what I'm saying, but I'm not too worried about the aesthetic of it or anything like that. But I do think it's probably going to end up being one of my prettiest journals just because it is going to be filled with things that I love and things that I'm really inspired by. And I think that's just a beautiful thing in crafting. And for each person, it's going to be something different. So, okay, this is pretty, pretty. All right. And then for down here, I might just go ahead. You can layer these. Um, if you have not used them before, you can layer them. They layer very nicely too, since they are so thin. 
but I'm not going to do that right now. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. So just add a little bit more glue. I do find with the collage paper that if you smooth out your glue, it does lay a little bit nicer. And actually glue sticks work kind of nice for this as well, but I don't know if I know where mine is right now, but okay, so it almost just melts into the paper, I feel like. This might be a good journal for me to also use some of the napkins that I have. I don't, I'm not someone who collects too many napkins. I know that a lot of people kind of get into that kind of creating with napkins for decoupage and stuff, but I do have a pretty good selection. Okay, there's a little strip here that's not covered, but I think that will be fine since we're going to have our first junk journal page idea. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for it and just place this down. And I mean, this is pretty darn easy. Like this is super exciting. And I have so many things that I need to add to this book. So I do think it's gonna get filled up rather quick, but I'm just, I'm not gonna like rush it. I kind of really wanna enjoy the experience as well. So like I said, I might end up adding some journaling. I don't really know if it's going to be much more than like describing what this page was for, but in the future, as I'm actually making videos where I make like junk journal page ideas, um, if I remember to put them in this book somewhat right away, it would be really cool to do a little bit of journaling and just say like what the date was, say what was going on with my mood and things like that. So for some reason, this one's calling to me today also. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of trim here, just plain old natural trim. And I think I want this to be on this page as well. However, I could put it on the left side and have this be, well, let's see, I'm trying to think. No, I don't really think I want to cover that up over there, but I like the, I mean, the colors just match so well. There, let's do like that. I like that a lot, and I'm so glad that I went with the black and white um, decoupage, because I feel like it's such a nice contrast. So, there we go guys, um, yeah, this is the first entry into my journal. I keep wondering if I want to use this butterfly, but I just think it's kind of taking away from it. I don't know, let me know, let me know down below. What should the heck should I do with this butterfly? <laughs> okay guys, well, I'm so excited. Um, I guess we can almost call this a series. I'm so excited to be working in this journal with you. I hope that you guys get inspiration from it. And if you can't wait to see more videos with me adding all of these things into this journal, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I would love for you to do that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.